I'm Natasha with Trader Joe's List and I just spent almost $300 at Trader Joe's today. This is the most I spent in forever and I blame it on all the new items. I'm going to sample and review all the new items and as much as I can in this haul. Please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. That helps me out so much. So let's jump into this three bag. What did I spend $300 on haul? I did it again, to quote the famous Britney Spears. I did it again, I spent way too much money at Trader Joe's. Um, not the plan, but I'm here to get all the new items and sample and review them for you, so we're gonna go through and see, see if they're good. See if they're good, see if you should buy them. Um, so let's jump in. These are melting, so we're gonna have to start with these. These are the new Figo half dip chocolate and vanilla flavored sandwich bars. So I can't sample these, but my amateur sampler will come in and give it a go. Simon, calling Simon to the floor, oh no. He has to try the new. I think I need to stroll up and try this. This is what happens when it takes forever to get home. So these sandwich bars are um, needing to be, yeah, this one's more full. Mm. Up and right wall front. Okay. This one looks, oh no. Can you put these in the freezer and we'll revisit it? Mm -hmm. Just put like one in. I don't think the whole box will fit. That one's squished. Get a new one out. Um, okay. What else did I get? Stuff that I marked, I don't really need to explain. Two ply toilet paper. Why do they even make one ply? Like, you know, we only need two ply. We also got um, a baguette. Well, this is Simon's baguette. He will eat this and probably seven minutes, that thing usually goes really fast. Another new item we can sample um, is the triple ginger muffins. These are gluten-free, they're brand new. I'm glad that society's catching on that a gluten-free muffin is actually the preferred way a muffin should taste. They just taste so much better when they're gluten-free. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna open these. I've heard that these are phenomenal. So, can you cut it into like, like many pieces, many, many pieces. Um, Gluten-free, so with ginger puree, candy ginger, and crystallized ginger. I thought, Not true, but for me, oh, sorry. Thanks. Sorry. This is gluten-free, so I can sample it. Got it. Um, this is triple Cheers. ginger muff. Oh. Mm. Wow. A lot of ginger, sugar, very good. Very moist. Mm. One muffin, 380 calories. Um, very, very good. They do have the sour cream in the muffins. That's kind of what gives it that like dense moisture. Oh, they're, these are really good. Wow. It's one of those things that the longer it's in your mouth, the better it tastes. You know how that goes? Yeah, you, you won't want those. Oh, you're gonna go ahead and eat those for me. Um, next up, this is for Simon to sample. This is the glazed maple donut. A traditional cake donut recipe with maple syrup cut into star cellar shape and covered in a sweet glaze. I'm gonna need a, a knife. Oh my god, the blade's coming at me. I feel like he's out to get me today. I can't, maybe it's just my inner woman. Do you want some of this? No, it's gluten. Gosh, it smells strong. So it's supposed to be a maple donut. I'm gonna smell it. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Growing up, maple donuts were my favorite. And they kind of remind me of an old-fashioned donut, but like coated in the maple glaze. And this is the first time I've ever had glazed maple donuts. Do you like it? Mmm. It's not very sweet. We think it'd be really sweet. Take that with a grain of caution because he like drinks ketchup and his taste buds are really like ketchup and ketchup. So Ketchup is, he likes to put sweet sauce on things. I, I would bet these are actually pretty sweet. But you just find really them good. I like okay, that. sweet. Okay. We sampled these in the car, but this is the new cinnamon bun inspired kettle corn. And they're very well coated. Like, it's kettle corn, but like super, super coated. Okay. Sample. This, I found these incredibly sweet. Like a very, it's like the cinnamon bun spread from Trader Joe's on top of kettle corn. So kettle corn's already sweet, 
and then imagine dumping cinnamon bun spread on top of it. But they're really, really, really good. Like if you like kettle corn, I feel like you'll like this. Mm, what do you think? Similar to the donuts, they got about the same amount of sugar. So, so Simon said that <laughs> Simon said he didn't find this very sweet. And this has um, 16 grams of sugar, and the first ingredient with the kettle corn is sugar. So keep that in mind when he says something's not very sweet. Do you find me sweet? Mm hmm. <laughs> um, 12 days of beauty. I'm going to start this <clears throat> during the 12 days. I think you're supposed to start on the 25th of December. I just Googled that. Um, let me know when you start the 12 days, but I love this because it comes with like little mini items, which are great for travel because they can all fit in your bag. There's um, hand cream, the sugar cube that's scrubby, kombucha rose cleansing oil, body butter, eucalyptus shower steamer. What is that? Interesting. Interesting. They, they caught on that we all like to hang the eucalyptus in the shower. Cool. And there's just a bunch of other things. So we'll have to get this. There's a hair detangler. I'll be using that. Marshmallow moisturizing lip balm. I'm going to probably gonna eat that. And then for the pups, we got them the advent calendar for dogs. I got one this year, even though I have two pups. The reason being is Boo, he loves this, but Popeye doesn't. She's very picky. Um, and I also picked up some stuff for the shower, some new, not, this isn't new. This is just a tea tree tingle body wash. I absolutely love it. And I got some more face wash because I needed it. Um, and then I was so excited to pick up these little salt vessels. Uh, Portuguese Flor de Sol. Um, this salt does not provide iodide, a necessary nutrient. So I got two of them. Oh, oh, there's like a little leaflet on top. I got two of them because one of them I'm going to keep by like my bar cart so I can put like salt when I make margaritas. Um, mm. Tastes like salt. And the other I'm going to put by the oven so when I cook I can just like sprinkle some salt in. So I got two of them. Gluten-free English muffins. These are the gluten-free oatmeal cookies and then the gluten-free chocolate chunk cookies. If you haven't tried these, they are to die for. They are so, so, so good. I have to hide them. Um, and they are not light on the calories, but they are full of flavor. Simon loves the um, oatmeal coconut ones. I feel like that's like a, a lot of people love these ones, but They're I'm not a- They're not very sweet either. I'm a purist. Oh I'm a purist and I like chocolate chunk. I'm just gonna set these over here. I picked up some macadamia nuts. Um, I'm gonna be using these just to help with hanger. I'm gonna give this a sample. I got I got the ones with salt. I love salt. Mmm. So good. I made macadamia nut butter, which is the easiest thing to make. You just buy this bag, you dump it in a blender, it'll blend and become oily. Because it already has the these nuts are so oily. It just provides the oil in the nut butter versus if you make an almond butter. Very yummy. Um, oh, I'm so this isn't new, but it's new on the West Coast. This is the face screen. This is the one that was like the goop knockoff and everyone was freaking out about it. So I bought two of them because you can never have too much sunblock. And it is an oil-free invisible gel formula, fragrance-free, water, and sweat resistant. Okay. Let's see how many, okay. You've got to undo it and then there's a safety bit on it, okay. Just put this in here. Let's see. Can I help? Uh, no, not really. Oh, it looks, it's, it's very clean. It come, kind of looks like Neosporin, but it's not thick and greasy like that. It's just got that color and, oh, it smells, it kind of just reminds you of vacation when you smell it, like very, Tropical. Mmm. Feels nice on the skin. I like this type of um, consistency because you can add your like vitamin C drops to it or any of your like facial serum remedies. But I'm glad I got two. I'll just have to wear it and see how it works like under makeup. But it's very soft. Wow. Oh my goodness. How'd they do that? Yeah, very cool. It makes a marvelous primer under makeup. Perfect. Soft and silky. That's the way to describe it. I got some hydrating eye cream. I'm all out. Um, I use Shishido usually, but I'm just gonna try this for like my nighttime eye cream. Uh, I mean, I've tried it before, but 
Um, and then Simon loves the Marula facial oil. He puts this on his face, like, I guess a lot because he runs out so quickly. Um, also picked up some Go Macro Bars. I'm gonna make chicken, well not chicken, I'm gonna make soup tonight. I don't really know what, but you guys gave me a lot of options yesterday in my stories. I gave you guys a question and you answered it. So I'm gonna try and put something together. And then for the bar cart, I also got agave syrup because I like to make skinny margaritas. So that's just like a mezcal, a little agave, um, some lime juice, and then if you want, you can throw in an, ele an element packet. You guys have probably heard me talk about before. And then if you've been on the internet at all in the last week, everyone's making smashed potatoes, which I was obsessed with last year. I didn't actually make videos for it, but I was like, they're just so good. A potato is so versatile. It can be a French fry. It can be a soup. What else can a potato be? A tater tot? What else can it be? Crisp. It can be a crisp? What's a crisp? <clears throat> Chips. It can be a potato chip, um, and now you can smash potatoes. Essentially, you just boil it, cover it in some oil, some salt, and bake it, or you can air fry it. That's probably a lot of people are doing it. And we'll drop those there. Um, for the soup, here's the Mirepoix blend. That just makes it really easy. I'm gonna do a little olive oil, throw this in. I'm also gonna add some garlic, and then I'm gonna make soup. I think I'm gonna end up putting some hot Italian sausage made with pork, but I take the casing off these and then I pre-cook it a little bit and then I put it in the soup and it cooks down in the soup and makes a really nice flavor. So I got the hot Italian sausage. Um, and then I also got sweet Italian chicken sausage. This is like the easiest hack. You just buy this, they're pre-cooked and then with whatever salad you make, you just, I like to cut them up and then I'll put a little olive oil in the pan, saute them, or not saute them, but like crisp them up a little bit. Very good. And each one has six grams of fat, um, 12 grams of protein, zero, zero carbs, but one gram of, one gram of carb. But they're, they're a great option. Cauliflower, I like anything colorful, so of course I got the colorful cauliflower. I got some garlic. And then two onions. Um, I picked up some vodka pasta sauce because I'm all out. Uh, some olive topping yod as like a little appetizer. I love this stuff. This is new. So this is the roasted vegetable warm bowl. Now they had the sweet potato harvest bowl, which is also a warm bowl, which I love. And I think I might like this one better because it has quinoa kale, carrots, mushrooms, cauliflower, and sliced almonds with a spicy almond vinaigrette. So I got two because I figure I'm going to love them. They remind me of sweet greens, $5.99 a bowl. This, I mean, like I said, with the chicken, if you want to add extra protein, add some of this to this, and it's an easy, affordable lunch. Simon and I really like these. These are this organic spaghetti squash nest. They're really easy to make, super low carb, and again, you can do like half regular <coughs> pasta, half organic spaghetti squash nest, depending on how much food you want, but these are really good. They're really easy to make, and they're shelf-stable for like, how long does this last? I feel like they last forever. Actually, about a year. I have a year to eat these, so that's pretty good. This is the Truffle Picante Spicy Pasta Sauce. Simon and I are gonna sample this. I tried it last year, and I remember it being really sweet, but I love truffle, and I don't think it's gonna be that spicy. I don't know if you wanna eat that before you eat it. Give it a smell. What do you smell? Um, truffles, for sure. Truffles on the nose? Yeah. Mmm. I'm gonna give it a go. New spoon. <laughs> Why new spoon? Because I'm not gonna double dip. Okay, here we go. Crushed tomatoes, let's see. Mmm. It's really good. It has a truffle. It's a little bit spicy. Mm -hmm. Truffle on the nose. A little sweet and spicy. But it's good. It definitely has a unique flavor. Much different than the vodka pasta sauce, but it's fun to like mix it up every once in a while. I'm gonna eat that one first while that's open. Should we sample it? No. I picked up these, woo, or um, cacao, these cacao chocolate chips. They're unsweetened. The reason I got them is I'm back on making smoothies, and there's a blueberry smoothie I make, which is a knockoff of a similar smoothie at Sun Life Organics. Let me see, try these. And anyways, I completely changed the recipe because I removed bananas from it. 
but it's blueberries, vanilla protein powder, mint, like fresh mint, um, and then like oat milk or almond milk, some crushed ice, and then you can add like some chocolate chips to it. Um, and these aren't like sweet at all, but because there's gonna be blueberries in the smoothie, these are really great because you get the health benefits of the cacao, but then you're not getting like cane sugar or anything inflammatory. So, uh, here's the other bowl I told you I got. I don't know how this got in the cart, but I'm assuming Simon put it in there. Mm -hmm. This is the non-dairy oat strawberry, which is so good. It's really sweet that he got it because he knows I'm going to eat it now. Um, and then this, I'm excited to try. This is the chickenless rice cauliflower stir fry. Um, yeah, they use plant-based morsels, which are pea protein. I'm just excited to try. I, there's been mixed reviews on this. So once I try it, I'll let you know. I'll do a little story or a TikTok. Something like that. Ooh, let's do some cheese sampling. What is wet in here? Everything's wet. Um, Toscana, this is like the spreadable dip. Toscana cheese spread dip. So they did, the last one they did was the unexpected cheddar, which is so good. And now we're going to try this one, which is the Syrah soaked. Okay. Mmm. Let's try it, here you go. Looks like this, very spreadable. Hmm, I was not expecting that to be sweet. Don't try it. I can use the spoon, you know that, right? But with your, with your bib on, it looks like you can't. <laughs> That's good, it recommends you it's cheesy, like I said, sweet. It's a little, it says, enjoy charcuterie, veggies, crusty bread, that'd be good. Make like a garlic bread and put this on top. That's really, really good. It did say a spoon. That's how we just enjoyed it. And a glass of Syrah. I think I'm gonna need wine tonight because it's that time of the month where you're like, So, oh, honey for our matchas in the morning. Wait, we're not done sampling cheese. Sorry. You're getting ahead of yourself. Now we're gonna sample, this is the new horseradish. What New York cheddar cheese. Ooh, I love a good horseradish. It's spicy, it's kind of like wasabi that like, I don't know how else to describe it. Here we go. Mmm, that's really good. It's like cheddar and finishes really, really nice horseradish flavor but it's not too strong. Yum. That is so good. Mmm. It's like tangy at the end and like really, mmm. Wow. Don't mind if I do. It reminds me of something I've had in the past. Reminds me a little bit of brie. It's not soft, but the texture. Mm. I wasn't asking you. A little bit reminds me of brie. That's really good. I don't know what to put this on yet, but I think a sandwich comes to mind, a cheese board. I could just eat it like this, honestly, it's so good. Whoa, that's that's delicious. And then with the soup, I got three different types of beans. So I'm gonna with the soup I make tonight. I got garbanzo, kidney, and what's this one? Oh, garbanzo, kidney, and organic great northern beans. So we're gonna do like a beany meat soup. I was thinking of my favorite soups at this place called Justa, G-J-U-S-T-A, it's in LA, and they make the best minestrone soup in the world, but it's like $17 a bowl, so I was like, I'm gonna try and recreate it, but it's vegan, and I'm adding sausage to mine, so. Oh, I got truffle salami. This is so good. If you've never had this, I took it home two <coughs> weeks ago, and I cut it up, and like we were just sitting around having wine and chatting, catching up with my mom and sisters, and like we ate this thing so quick. It was so good. Do you remember? I don't know one. if I had any. You did. Okay. You did. Oh, for Simon, I got him that sparkling honey crisp apple juice. This is really good. I got it last year. He won't find it sweet, but it does have 25 grams of sugar. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, that's really good, actually. What's it taste like? 
Not super apple -y. What about bubbly? A little bit. Not bad. They'd be quite good with some vodka in it. What do you mean you don't taste the apples? It's not like apple juice apple -y. The first ingredient is apple juice. Is that the time? I gotta go. I think what he means to say is there's no artificial apple flavor. It's really fresh tasting. It's very good. You can go add some vodka to it. Um, and then I picked up Simply Eggless Eggs. Love those. Oh, and mango, dried mango is so good. So, so, so good. And last but not least, we got the almond beverage. We use that for smoothies and matchas and lattes. It frosts pretty well. And that's it. This was like $280. Oh wait, last, wait, hold on. Simon's coming in to try the, where did the box go? The bo I think the box is in the freezer. This is what we started with. It's still a bit melty, but. Oh, you can see it though. Yeah. Let's show it off. It's gonna fall apart. It's kind of like cookies and dipped in chocolate. Let me show them. You can't hold it back, you gotta. Show up close. This is what he's sampling. It's it's very fragile right now. There you go. It looks really good. I like it because there's different textures. There's like a, bit melty. a cookie like sandwich part, and then there's that part, but like dipped in chocolate, so it's a bit more chocolatey. Mm. You like that? Yeah. He was going to get the non-dairy frozen like sandwiches. There's like the oat. Don't mind me. They're like the oat bars, but they're non-dairy. And I like them, but the vanilla flavor is a bit too vanilla for me. He asked why I spoon feed him, but look at this. It's all over his hands. Really good. Really good. I imagine if it wasn't melted, it'd be even better. Huh. Why is it called Figo? Figolo, Figolo. I don't know. That's what came to it's my mind. Figaro. Figaro? Yeah. What does that mean? But I highly recommend these. Melted? Especially if you can get it frozen. <laughs> okay, well that's it. I'll see you guys next week. Um, and if you're on IGTV, stick around. We'll do like a Q&A. As usual, we do that every week at the end. Um, and this will be posted to YouTube tomorrow. If you're on YouTube, you're watching it, so you already know it's up. And I'll put on TikTok at some point in the future. But thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next week.